Hello and happy October. I'm Nick from Airtable, bringing you a spooky update on all that's new in Airtable this month. From advanced filters to new ways to sync data with Box, these updates are all treat and no trick. Let's get to it. Starting off, we're introducing more advanced filters. This one's a big one. When you're looking for highly specific information, sometimes filtering by AND or OR just doesn't cut it. Enter advanced filters, which let you display specific data using both AND and OR in a single filter configuration. So let's say you want to find somewhere to eat where one, your rating is at least three stars, two, delivery is available, or three, it's nearby, in the same neighborhood that you live. Now you can display a comprehensive list of all those restaurants in all their ifs, ands, and ors glory. Next, we've made the scripting app and custom blocks SDK totally free for everyone. Since their debut in 2020, these features have been incredibly popular amongst Airtable Power users, allowing them to custom tailor their workflow with scripts and build real-time interactive apps that live right in Airtable. Next up, you can sync outside the box. That's right, our external sync integration for Box is now live for all customers on Pro and Enterprise plans. If you manage your assets in Box, you can now build powerful workflows that continuously sync across your bases. For example, when a file gets uploaded to Box, you can trigger an automation that starts an approval workflow. And finally, a small but important update, you can now use formula fields as a condition in your automations. And that means you can be hyper precise with when exactly you want automations to run and what exactly you want them to update. All right, that's it for this month. As always, thanks for watching along and keep checking our blog for some very cool updates coming your way soon. And don't forget to keep it spooky. We'll see you next time.